Yeah, true. He never got a parade. He never got the yeah, true. the celebration when we got promoted because mm. of COVID. Yeah. And I'm very upset. <laughs> I watched the uh, the football and uh, I thought, because it's my birthday drinks tonight, a nice win for Leeds would be great. Yeah. And uh, oh. not only did we not win, but then we also got rid of our manager. Yeah. Yeah. And Bielsa is gone. Did, was he, did he go himself or was he gently... No, he was sacked. He was? Yeah, oh. he was sacked. And that needs pointing out, by the way. Parted but, company is yeah, what he was said, sacked. wasn't it? Yeah. He didn't leave. Yeah. He was sacked. And the reason I say he was sacked is because lots of the headlines have been Marcelo Bielsa leaves Leeds United. Yeah. Now, technically, it's not a lie. He has left, mm. as in physically, got in his car and driven away. But that wasn't his choice. No. M- mutual decision. Yeah, parted company is what they've said. Isn't and it? if I'm if I'm wrong, I'll stand corrected and I say I apologise. But as far as I've read it, they've got rid of him and said, "Look, this ain't working out. You've got to go." Yeah, that ain't leaving. Mm. I don't think he would have left. And three and a half years of of Marcelo uh, Marcelo Bielsa looking after Leeds United and mm. and turning things around and being amazing mm. and bizarre and confusing and brilliant and an enigma. Yeah, it's all over. So yeah, I'm I'm very upset about it, and I was gonna mm. I was gonna do a big, I I was gonna write something about it, and then I didn't. So I my emotions about Bielsa, um, parting company, yeah, quote with Leeds United is is I've got very 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 mixed emotions about it. He'll always be a Leeds legend, oh, won't he? Look, there he is, sat on. We've got a little model of him there in our he studio, is. sat in his little bucket. He looks even sadder than usual. He though. does like forlorn on his little bucket he's, there. He's facing the wall. He's, he's not just, even looking at us. You're absolutely right. Let me let me put him back in his yeah. rightful place. Yeah. Let me put. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna put him next to me for a while. Oh, there he is. is. There he is, right there. Can you see him? There it's a bit he like is. Frank Sidebottom. No, don't say this. Actually, yeah. But don't be like that. Sorry. And yeah, I never met him. I never got to have a chat with him. Mind you, neither did most of the players get to have a chat with him. (laughs) Without the uh, aid of an interpreter. Yeah. And um, I don't know. I just just hope this works out. I really do. Because he's been amazing for us. And has he been, you know, have we been uh, racking up the points the last few games? No. Mm. One point out of the last 18. We lost the last four games. Four games, by the way. Yeah. Four. Four. Not 44. Four. Yeah. Four. And. Yeah, and you had some tough Something had to change. Would he have changed it? I don't know. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very upset about the whole thing. Sure, it's been ups and downs and all of that, but that's what our song Marching On Together is all about. And now, Bielsa, would I have liked him to stay to the end of the season? Yes. Would I have taken the risk of us maybe going down? Yes. Would you? Yes. Okay. If he'd have stayed next season to get us back up again, right. yes, I would. Mm. With the games that we've got ahead of us and some of the players that could be coming back to play for us, yes, I think I would. Yeah, true. He never got a parade. He never got the yeah, true. the celebration when we got promoted because mm. of COVID. Yeah. And I'm very upset. Okay. But, Tom, mm. through thick and thin. Yeah. You know? Mm. What does the Irish say? Tick and thin. Anyway, how was your weekend? Very good, thanks. What did you do Wembley yesterday? last night. It was amazing. Oh, you went to Wembley and you won yeah. the cup? Oh, yeah. yeah. Haven't got time for that. Radio. The Chris Moyle Show.